complicated corporate tax system and VAT regime. To start the new tax system on a clean slate, my government will provide a tax amnesty that is a complete exemption from payment of taxes for a specified period and waiving the interest and penalties up to a certain year to individuals and businesses for failures to file taxes in previous years so that everybody will start afresh. <laughs> Tax digitalization will be implemented across all aspects of tax administration. Everyone will be required to file a very simple tax return electronically through their mobile phone or computer. There will be no manual or paper filing of taxes under my administration. <laughs> Assessments by GRA will also be faceless. Faceless assessments will provide transparency and accountability. There will be no need to send GRA to officers to go and sit in shops. E-invoicing as being implemented by the GRA will be extended to all companies. Estonia, India, and Mexico provide very useful models for Ghana in the area of tax digitalization. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition, any audits by GRA will also be done electronically and facelessly. Furthermore, no entity will be audited more than once in five years unless anomalies are detected which the individual or company does not correct after being given the opportunity to do so. We will amend the law so that if there is a dispute about tax assessment, a binding arbitration will take place through a body constituted by institutions such as the Ghana Arbitration Center, Institute of Taxation, AGI, Institute of Chartered Accountant, Private Enterprise Foundation, Ghana Employers Association, and so on, with a mandate to resolve any appeal in a maximum of three months. This will not affect companies, however, who by their agreements have such arbitrations taking place in international jurisdictions. Ladies and gentlemen, with cuts in government expenditure, the private sector undertaking expenditure that would normally be done by government, and the new tax regime, the flat tax regime, that will enhance compliance, broaden the tax base, and increase tax revenue. With these policies, the situation we are going to face in 2025 is going to be very different from the situation we faced in 2020 and 2022. With the policy measures implemented so far, we have outperformed the IMF fiscal deficit target of 5% by attaining a fiscal deficit target of 4.2% in 2023. The new policies that I am proposing to implement in 2025 will give us the fiscal space to eliminate uh, tax, some taxes, such as the proposed VAT on electricity, if they are still on the books, the emissions tax, and the betting tax, without compromising our fiscal deficit. This, ladies and gentlemen, I want to build a Ghana where we leverage technology, data, and systems for inclusive economic growth. I want us to apply digital technology, STEM, robotics, and artificial intelligence for the transformation of agriculture, healthcare, education, manufacturing, fintech, and public de service delivery. As part of this process, it is my goal to eliminate the digital divide by achieving close to 100% internet penetration in Ghana. We have already made significant progress in this direction by increasing internet penetration from 34% in 2016 to 72% in 2023. So we've more than doubled internet penetration. The task in the next four years is to move 
from 72% to close to 100% internet penetration. It is possible. I want to see Ghana build the digital talent that we require for the fourth industrial revolution. 